Hey guys, it's Angela. So I have kind of a hodgepodge video for you guys. The first thing I want to share is um, a kit that I got for my first project back on the um, design team that I used to be a part of. I took a few months off uh, for summer and um, now that the kids are back in school, I kind of feel like I've got more time and um, so I went in today to pick up a kit and uh, I decided to go with this uh, collection from Rim and This. It's called Halloween, <laughs> obviously. So um, actually I'm going to turn down my music really quick so I'll be right back. Okay, felt like there's just too much going on. My phone's vibrating, the music's blaring. Okay, so this is the die cut stickers, and um, I think these are so stinking adorable. They're um, some of them are pretty big, you know, but you could use that as like the whole front of a card. Um, and then these ones are obviously really perfect for cards. This one says, "Wishing you a highly entertaining Halloween, a thrilling Halloween." I really like this one. It says, owls are hooting in the tree, pumpkins making faces mean, and lots of things that you can't see tell us that it's Halloween. And then, um, when the owl and witch together are seen, there's mischief brewing on Halloween. So, these are really stinking adorable. And then, here is, I didn't, um, here's some of the papers. I already cut off the uh, you know the border and the label or whatever for this sheet um, for both of these but so part of my responsibilities I have to make a um, two, two, two page layout using 12 by 12s so these are the two that I'm going to use for the base of the layout and then the back of this one it's really nice uh, black and orange and then uh, black and white damask and then we have this adorable little pumpkins. I picked up two of these because I knew that um, I'll probably use a lot of that one. That's, oh, goodness, man, I'm all over the place. Okay, so this is actually the back, and uh, this is what the front looks like. And I love these because they have these adorable little border strips, too. So, you know, once you trim that off, you know, you can totally use that on one of your projects. This is actually the first paper ever that I've had from Reminis. Usually, I'm not a very big fan of their paper, but uh, this one has such a really cute, cutesy, family-oriented uh, Halloween theme that I just had to go with it. So, oh, okay, back up. Back up. Since I already cut the names, oh wait, never mind, I have it. And tell you the names of the paper sheets. This one is Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble, obviously with the cauldron. Um, this one with the cute little pumpkin people is just Happy Halloween. The scarecrow with all the little pumpkins on the back is uh, Pick of the Patch. This one is called Pumpkin Parade. So cute. But I will say I'm going to use it for the back for the crows and the owls. And then that one has a cute border that just says Halloween. And then I did pick up another one of the Bubble Bubble Toil and Trouble so I could use it for the back. And then, oh my gosh, can you believe this one? <gasps> oh, it's so stinking cute. It totally reminds me of the uh, Tim Holtz, one of his stacks that has um, a few pieces of paper for each of the holidays or whatever. This really reminds me of it. But um, I actually almost like this one better because it's not so dark. But, oh, so cute. And then stars. And this is called Fright Night. Really cute border. And then I just picked up a few sheets of some basil orange cardstock because I didn't have any 12 by 12 sheets. So that's all for the paper. 
And then, let me see. So, um, she didn't have any other embellished. Well, she had a few or two different, like, sticker sheets. But she didn't order very many of them. So, she wanted to save those. And she, I mean the owner of the store, she wanted to be able to save those for customers. So, for me, there wasn't any other embellishments that are actually from reminisce from the collection so I just put a couple things with it and I grabbed some uh, Queen & Co black pearls since I don't have black and some crochet flowers from Petaloo in black and they're just called crochet flowers in black and it looks like there's like one two three four five in there with little green leaves and then some uh, black burlap trim, which I love. And the spool that I cut this off of didn't even have a name on it, so I don't know who it's from. It feels a lot softer and it's a looser weave than the Mayart's one I have. So I don't know if it's Mayart's or not. And then just some orange grow green ribbon. So that is my kit, and so I'll be making a two-page layout, an altered item, which I'm going to make a wreath making the uh, paper rosettes that, you know, you accordion fold, and then I'll make them into a circle, and then a little pumpkin made out of uh, rosettes also. So then I was, um, I did tiny bit of shopping while I was there. I mean, hello, you can't go in a scrap store without getting something extra, right? So I picked up the Gravic 45 bird song. Yay! So excited. I know you guys have seen this. Arlene has shown it. Leanne has shown it. But it's new to me. And I'm in heaven. It is so gorgeous. Usually I'm not big on Asian themes, but this one is so gorgeous and has such a nice vintage feel that, you know, it's graphic 45 for heaven's sakes, you know? Everything they do is absolutely exquisite. I love this page with the little butterflies. That's one of my favorites. But the one that I can't get enough of that I'm probably going to have to uh, either get the 12 by 12 or go and get just single sheets of is this one. It's beautiful. The flowers, the birds. Let me get my ot light over here. There you go. Oh, it's exquisite. It's the one that's on the back. So anyway, so there's the 8 by 8 And then I've, I haven't ever bought one of these for Graphic 45 before, but my choices for embellishments were kind of slim. So I picked up the cardstock sticker sheet. And then, uh, bird song chipboard tags number one. Woo, glare, hello. So, there's that. Okay, so that was my extent of shopping today. Then, yesterday, I had to go to Michael's to get a refill for my ATG. And they have, I don't know about your guys' Michael's, but my Michael's was, oh my gosh off the hook on washi tape and I've already opened them and like you know started the roll with a little flappy but this came together these two adorable right that's what I'm thinking man my lighting kind of sucks okay so those are pinks and creams then I'm gonna save my favorite for last and then these two beautiful and then these three came together okay so seriously this is like a knockoff of seven gypsies because I've seen this before by seven gypsies identical and then this little ugly plain one <laughs> and then this one it's like a floral my camera is such a piece Ugh, I wish it would focus. Okay, so this one's my favorite. I love it. It is black with beautiful flowers. And then this is just like a abstract design kind of. But this one right here. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Okay, so there's my washi tape extravaganza. 
And then, um, oh, I also, no, I guess that's it. Oh, no, this is from Michael's, too. Um, they actually had some tattered angels. And so I took a couple of little I am roses and sprayed them to put on the end because that's how I label my sprays so I can just, you know, look at the tops and grab what I want. This one is called Rouge and Cork, which for some reason, looking at the front, I imagine them, you know, to be lighter. But, oh well, they're still pretty. Okay, so then I made a quick little jaw into Joanne. And I've already opened it, so you're not going to be able to see the cover, but, you know, just to, I'm super excited. I got the, um, in the bag Tim Holtz die, and I'll show you a little project. Well, it's so tiny, I wouldn't even call it a project, but, um, this little bag that I made, um, it's using the, I think it's called Steampunk Botanical. It's a recollection stack. And I will show you, here it is, yeah, Steampunk Botanica, excuse me, the stack right here. And it's not a Halloween stack, but because it has, a lot of the pages have skulls on it, I went ahead and used it. So it's just a really cute little bag, I took some lace, um, this, it was uh, a dark purple I Am Roses, and I sprayed it with Raven. Tattered Angels, and then I painted it with uh, Chandelier Glitter Glam. Gorgeous. And uh, took a, another little tiny one. This was white, and I sprayed it with Raven. And then, um, because there was like so much Raven on my craft mat, or craft sheet, I just like dipped the ends of these rosebuds in it to darken it up. And that's about it. Oh, and punched a hole with my crocodile and tied some ribbon. So I'm going to make these for my son and daughter's classes for their Halloween party, but obviously use, like, cutesy um, little, like, you know, ha kid Halloween paper. So, so easy to put together. Oh, my gosh. Because I've been wanting that dye since I saw it at CHA. Oh, sorry, back up. Also from Michaels, I bought three packs of these little, so cute little tiny dominoes. Oh my god, I was in love. I think they came like five to a pack, and I picked up three because otherwise I knew I would never use them. I would just hoard them. So, okay, and then also from Joann's. I picked up, I know these are old, but I hadn't had them yet, Amy Tangerine Sketchbook. Love the cameras. And hearts. Love those zigzags. Okay, and then, I don't know, I guess it's just called Amy Tangerine. But, I had to have it because I am so in love with... The little paper doll, or, you know, paper cutout people. Okay. So that's it for the haul. Or haul slash design team kit. Um, I haven't been making a whole lot of things lately. But I made this card the other day using the uber adorable... Uh, uh, Happy Haunting from Graphic 45. I used the 8x8. Um, let's see. For the, uh, I used like a piece of orangish yellow cardstock on top of the black base. And then I used the sunflower paper, which is my ultimate favorite in the pack. And then I used one of my Cherry Lynn French pastry dye and cut a doily out of um, the same paper, but I folded it in half, so I just had, you know, so it just looked like half of one, and then, um, cut this out of the paper and layered it on that orangish yellow color paper, and then cut these out, everything, all the edges are distressed and inked with black soot, cut these out of the paper collection, cute little sentiments, little tags, stick them in there, of course, I am roses, 
and then that's the inside cut the clock out of the paper popped it up I really like how that came out and then I was also going to share with you I've made a couple um, journal pages for my uh, journal slash smash book slash scrapbook layout book <laughs> I don't know I don't really have a name for it but I started it when I joined uh, Bona's um, her Live Love Scrap when I joined her um, Keep On Scrapping Facebook page so you make a smash book slash journal using just scraps so um, there's the front I know I've shared that before there's a layout of each of my kids, my grandparents, when I was 19, and then, so this is one of the new ones I did, my daughter in the bath, and I used, um, there we go, I used My Mind's Eye, Follow Your Heart by Rana Ferrer, the girlish looking collection, cut out those from the sheet that is like all hexagons. Um, all of this is like on the paper. Um, some little Prima sparkly flowers with the um, Recollections crocheted flower. This is like a, a clip from the collection. This is um, canvas that I cut out the Tim Holtz on the edge of the butterfly dye. Um, some tool trim that is folded in half from Joann's and then this blingy trim stuff is uh, I got it in the of all places in the beading section at Michael's um, man the name of the line is totally escaping me industrial or industrious or industrial or something like really cool charms and beads and um, that blingy trim came in a pack there's like three different trims and then there's also this like um, it's almost transparent when it's off the roll like newspaper collage tape stuff and then also these are transparent uh, like looks like a roll of old film those came together so there's that one and then this beauty queen piece came in a pack from T's a cutie Tasha or yeah T's a cutie yeah, my brain's not functioning correctly, but, um, in this pack right here of these so amazing chipboard pieces. I commented on a video, she had made some cards out of these, and she sent it to me in a wreck. She's such a doll. So, okay, we're almost done, guys. This is a long video for me, almost 20 minutes. Okay, so then, um, then I made this page. And, um... I didn't paint on either one of these. Usually I paint the paper after I glue a few together, but I didn't. I just put a piece of craft down, and then I used, finally, some of the Memento, or um, I think they're Memento, or Sukuniko, I can't remember, um, the fireworks. And obviously I didn't use this one, but I used a green and a purple to give it some shimmer, because they're really bright. And then I used She Art by Pink Paisley and my Spellbinders Die the Stars and just went to town. I cut pretty much a star out of every single sheet in the collection and then cut a square out of this one and then rounded it with my this thing, corner chomp. And then used the scalloped square Spellbinders. And I used a piece of light blue cardstock, and then this is my favorite from the collection for the photo mat. And then uh, this is some trim from Joann's. And then I made this cute little, I want to say hemp, but it's not hemp. It's like jute, rough, uh, thick twine stuff. I uh, just rolled it around itself, you know on my craft mat using hot glue and then I made this felt flower and put it in the middle these are uh, the purple ones I am roses but this one is recollections and then a Tim Holtz muse token that says artful oh and then this is some of that 
uh, the transparent-ish newspaper collage tape stuff. So anyways, I know that was like a lot all in one video, but I just wanted to get it out there and be done with it. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, I love answering questions, and I love hearing feedback, and um, yeah, hopefully there's lots more videos to come. I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.